What's going on guys? All right, so I am here with my with my current uh, Nintendo Power Collection. Uh, my initial goal is to get up through volumes uh, pretty much 69, 70. That gets you right up through 1995. So you know um, pretty much everything below there is going to include all the NES games, which is my primary goal is to get all the uh, NES ones. Secondary goal would be to be to get the rest of the magazines up to the Super NES era, and then I guess like a, you know, a further down the line goal would to be get all 400 some of the Nintendo Powers and have just a full collection. So let's take a look here, and we're not going to look at all the posters because there's uh, quite a bit here. So you've seen my issues one through four, and then 21 through 27. So here I have, uh, I have got a full collection here of 31 up. So let's take a look at what I got here. Uh, issue number 31, we've got Metroid on the cover. That's uh, the Game Boy Metroid. This is a magazine I remember clearly. Um, there were actually, there are two different um, Nintendo Powers that actually offered strategy guides for that Game Boy Metroid. Um, everybody who played it was able to beat that game, and you, at the end of it, you, you um, met the baby Metroid, which is so popular in the third game. That's why the third game had such a good impact, was they made sure that everybody started understanding the storyline and line of Metroid with the second game on the Game Boy. So there was a strategy guide in that one, and then there was actually one of the photo put together strategy guides of, of Metroid also, along with just a regular map. Um, so that's um, number 31 starts 92 I believe so December 91 we got there here's issue number 32 Super Castlevania 4 here's issue number 33 TMNT 3 you have to do this a little differently to save time Issue number 34 is a popular one, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. There was also a multiple uh, strategy guide issues with Link to the Past in it. WWF Super WrestleMania. I remember the magazine, never played the game. So, um, some of you guys might remember, some of you guys might not. Um, when you had your subscriptions, um, your last, like, when, when you're about to run out, they would send you one with a sleeve on it or a cover reminding you that it was out. So every month that it was out, you could have got a different cover. So there are a lot of different covers out there. And if, I guess if you really wanted to, you could go and collect them. But most people got to see, you know, one cover a year at least. So there is... And they, they had specials too. So here's different. If you got a friend to subscribe with you, um, you got to take your pick of one of the strategy guides that they had there's always like some some deal and especially in the first like five six seven years of nintendo power there's always some deal you got when you uh resubscribe and if you got friends too here's um volume number 37 lemmings on the cover lemmings was the first game i bought for the super nintendo by myself uh, this was june 1992 remember that one here's another iconic cover there that most people will remember, Street Fighter 2, that's volume 38, here we have volume 39, we got Mario Paint on the cover, and all of these, pretty much all of these have um, map, or uh, the posters with them, okay, looks the cat on number 40, so most all of these have the posters, there's probably five or six that don't, um, and they're all pretty much in good shape. Here's uh, Super Mario Kart on October 41. So it's funny here, on 41 they started putting October on there. There's September. So somewhere along the line there they started putting the dates on there. So here's volume 42. We've got Super Star Wars and a Super Mario Land 2 preview. And I paid roughly about a, I'd say, I don't know. It wasn't that expensive, you know, buck and some change, around two bucks an issue, which wasn't that bad at all. Number 43, we got the Roadrunner, and there's another one. So this all came from the same person, so every 12 issues you're going to see a cover on there. 
Oh, and here's uh, one of my favorite um, issues. One of my favorite issues of all time. One of my most memorable. It was January January of two thousand or of 1993. So this was a holiday issue. So I had this one growing up around the holidays. January 93, 44. Um, the front cover opened up. So you could see him uh, blasting Pluto with his water gun. And um, it had a cool, on the inside it had this like one of those find, find and seek things where it give you a list of items to find. And then you look through this kid's, like this teenager's room to find items. It's a creepy looking room. And another thing I remembered about this issue was that it had a, um, it had a Ren and Stimpy poster. So that, I thought that was cool. But yeah, that's one of my more favorite issues. And then we have Hugsy Scavenger Hunt for the NES on volume number 45. Alright, and these were two items the, the guy that I bought these from sent me. It's super power, suppl super power Supplies. I clearly remember getting these in the early 90s, mid 90s, and saving up my power bucks that we got. Um, you get two free power stamps. I don't remember what I ordered, but I remember like seeing like the dog killer instinct dog tags and the CDs and I ordered something. I do not remember what it was, but I had a bunch of these and I sent it in. I um I wish I remember what I ordered. But I probably ordered like a um holders, I think. I probably ordered the book sleeves or something. Those. They had a lot of. You can't really see it, but those sleeves right there had a lot of those sleeves. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then there's a subscriber's bonus for the year 2000. So, that's pretty cool. Alright, onward, we got 46 here with Tiny Tunes on the front. 47 with Star Fox. 48. Batman Returns. So there's going to be a mix of uh, Nintendo and Super Nintendo. Battletoads and Double Dragons. It's going to be a mix of uh, NES and SNES on these covers and Game Boy. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, vault issue number 50. It's a good looking issue there. 51, we have Super Street Fighter Turbo on the front. 52. Mario All Stars, a little roughed up that magazine, but uh, still in one piece. 53. I remember playing that game when it came out, that was cool. There's another one I remember of clearly Secret of Mana on uh, issue 54. Uh, here's a game I played a lot around the holidays when that came out. On issue number 55 was Aladdin. And here's that silver cover that a lot of people remember Mega Man X. 56. That's a cool cover. It's got uh, nothing on the back, but Mega Man's on the front if you can't see it that well. Here's 57 Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. Kind of a boring. That's when uh, the new Metroid comics started on that one, too. Alright, it's volume 58. We've got Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. I, uh, I own that game and played it. Another cool cover. 59, we've got Ken Griffey Jr. And here's a cool one here. Issue number 60, Super Metroid. New Super Game Boy was also, the Game Boy, uh, Super Game Boy was also introduced in that uh, magazine. Donkey Kong. I need to get a Super Game Boy. I don't know why I don't own one. Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, oh, yeah, another Street Fighter 2, I guess. <laughs> 63 is Don't Race FX on it. 64, Mortal Kombat 2. Illusions of Gaia, Illusions of Gaia on uh, 65. I own that game. Got the uh, big box with the shirt that came with that. And there's Donkey Kong Country, November six, uh, issue number 66. It's a popular one. Issue number 67 has Earthworm Jim. Another excellent game. And there we are, number uh, 1995. And my last issue, number six, 69, has Mega Man X2. 
So yeah, that's what I pretty much got for now. I've got to piece the first few issues together still. Got to put together um, pretty much 5 through 20. So um, look forward to me doing that sometime, maybe later this year, by the, by the holidays or uh, early next year. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Peace.